Good evening and salutations, my Days of Elias fans. Let's just start off with Lonnie. Um, I don't like that woman. I really don't. Over the course of watching this show, I've always had mixed emotions about this woman. And I remember when she was like really angry at Eli for turning over, you know, for turning in Kristen. And I'm like, one, that's his job. Two, Kristen was going to put you in jail. And the only reason why you weren't in jail was because Eli decided to, you know, not just do his job, but arrest Kristen so that way you wouldn't get in trouble. When she was sitting there panicking, talking about, what am I going to do, and about the twins, this, that, and third. So, ever since then, I've just never really liked her. And, this woman really knows how to put the bitch in bitch. And, I was going to say that yesterday, but I was like, you know what, let me not do that. But, this episode, I mean, listen, again, I get it, Paulina did wrong by everyone, okay, but she's been doing her best to try to make amends, and it's almost like, oh, screw it, that doesn't matter, because Paulina is a bad person, and I don't, and she actually had to audacity to basically sit there and say that she doesn't want her family to have anything to do with her. I'm like, sweetheart, when the hell did you think you can sit there and start controlling other people and telling other people who and who they can't sit there and spend time with? It? I'm like, is this woman drunk? Is she high? Like, I've never seen such a delusional character before in a really long time. And this woman, <sighs> but it doesn't just stop there. No, she got to sit there and talk about this sob story that she had when she was a kid and about how you know Paulina was supposed to take her to Paris but she never got to do it and that's the kind of person she is and I was like sweetheart that happened when you were what in high school she disappointed you in high school and you're using that as an example of why Paulina is always going to be a bad person and she's never going to sit there and change it, this that and the third I'm like this stupid Stupid ass. I, I don't even know what to say about this woman. She just came across as so mean and nasty. And I was like, Jesus Christ. And Eli married you? We all know that this man could do a hell of a lot better than her. But sure, whatever. So she goes on her tirade. And she talks about, oh, uh, well, you know, money this, money that. And... You know, Abe is like, you know, after what that man put it through, I understand, you know, about her, her issue of money. And she's like, what are you talking about? So I'm like, you're going all hard on Paulina and you don't even know all the facts. Just, wow. I, this woman just literally pissed me off throughout this entire episode. Um, side note. So yeah, uh, Claire is leaving. And I don't really understand why. I don't understand why the actress is leaving. I'm going to sit there and try to do some digging over the weekend to find out, like, why is she leaving. And also, Dio's leaving, too. Like, the actor is just going. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, this show just got to renew. And already you're seeing characters just skipping out. It's, it's, the, it's so weird. Also... There's supposed to be a recast of Sunny, which I thought was from GH, but apparently there's, you know, they're talking about this Sunny. I'm just like, why couldn't he just... So anyway, there is a possibility that they may be recasting Sunny to come back. Um, I don't know, hopefully they get the other guy. Um, well, because he's been on the show for a while. Um... Now... Sierra remembers everything. She remembers it all. And now at this point, she's very apologetic towards Ben 
for the way that she treated him and you know just happy that he never gave up so for all the fans that love Ciara and Ben this was your time this was your episode um, it definitely did not disappoint for the Ciara and Ben fans it did not um, I'm not really been about the whole coupling things but I'm just happy that she actually remembers because man this this been going on for far too long um, but now you know Sierra's all worried about Theo you know she knows that Theo loves him that loves her you know she's supposed to get married and she feels bad and Ben is like um he knew exactly what he was getting into when he decided to do this he knew that you were you know you you didn't even have any memories and he was still going to go through it, go through with this anyway. Which I'm just like, I don't even have to write this down because, Ben, you said everything that pretty much the entire world was not there thinking about. Um, so, yeah, he remembers every, you know, she remembers everything, so that is great. Um, now, Theo goes to Paulina's place. She talks about how she tracked down the lead. Somebody's going to call in. They want the money first. Um, you know, Thea's like, I don't I don't know. Because this, you know, this sounds kind of shady. So they get Sean. And Sean O'Malley is like, no, don't trust this woman. Because once she has the money, she could just run. You have no way of tracking this woman. She's probably calling you from a block number. Even though Theo said that he can probably try to trace it or whatever. But, you know, um... But they decide to gamble, and it pays off. And she says that, you know, they saw a limo heading, you know, on some road or whatever. Going towards some cabin. And automatically, Sean already know. So Sean and Theo go down there, and the minute that they bust open the room, they see both of them lying in bed. And Theo just has that look in his face. And I'm just like, you know, I don't want to sound like a dick and be like, <laughs> and kind of enjoy that moment. But I enjoyed that moment. I really did. This guy literally took advantage of a woman who didn't remember her former life. And he just kept hoping every single day. I hope she doesn't remember. I hope she doesn't remember. What happens if y'all would actually had a child together? And then she remembered afterwards. Do you understand just how much of a cluster F that would have been? I mean, he literally lived in a damn fantasy land. And when he went in there, when he saw those two in bed, he woke the hell up. Um, so, I have to tell you the truth. I enjoyed that moment. I really did. I wish... That I would actually have something to snack on and celebrate. Um, I mean, maybe not celebrate, but snack on just so I can enjoy a little bit more. Um, and like me and Ben said, he set himself up for this, so you know this is this is all on him. Steve comes over Jack's place. Pretty much gives him the lowdown on his daughter that you know throughout his contacts and stuff like that he was like you know Snyder was not there selling drugs and Gwen was his accomplice now Gwen had a very interesting conversation with with um, Xander and you know she's reading her tablet or whatever and she sees Xander's picture and talks about the home wrecker and yada 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 and she asks Xander a question and I was like, are you kidding me? You know, they were talking about the affair and stuff. She was like, so how drunk was she? I'm sitting there thinking, did this woman just ask Xander how drunk was this woman to be with him? I'm like, well, sweetheart, how drunk was Chad when he was with you? I, I just, I couldn't even believe she came out of her mouth and said that. I mean, it was just like, are you kidding me? Then she talks about how Xander's not going to be able to get a job anymore 
because it's going to be on his permanent record. And I'm sitting there thinking, Gwen, you did the exact same thing. So what makes you think you're going to find a job? I mean, I don't, I don't know how they spent the story. Maybe she will be able to get a job. Um, I don't know. I kind of look at the whole thing like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't think it's going to really mess him up that much if he, you know, as far as trying to get a job. But I don't know. Um, anyway, you talk about that for a little bit. They seem like they're about to sit there and, you know, go to town on each other or mattress tag or, you know, make him whoopee. Jack comes in there and Jack is like, yo, you're going to sit there and tell me what's going on. And he confronts Gwen. He confronts her about the fact that he knows that, you know, um, he knows about her and Jack's, I mean, he knows about her, Snyder's connection as far as, you know, being the, the drug dealer, you know, being the deliverer and stuff, deliverer and stuff. And at first, Gwen sits there and tries to deny it. She's all like, oh, what are you talking about? Oh, you can't sit there and tell, uh, you, you know, you can't sit there and, you know, trust a drug addict. Now, Jack is like, I want to sit there and find out what's going on because her mom died of an overdose. So, he's like, why would she actually have anything to do with drugs? So, he's questioning her. He's questioning her. And finally, she admits, yeah, I was working with Schneider and stuff like that. Um, and I'm sitting there thinking, okay, why don't you just tell him? That you were being blackmailed by Snyder and you weren't doing, you know what I'm saying, you were doing it against your will. And maybe that might soften the blow a little bit. I mean, let's be honest, you were taking drugs in and out the house with Doug and Julie there on top of him. And he's already sitting there saying that, you know, you don't know the, the meaning of trust, this, that, and the third, and you don't know what love means, and, you know, you getting. Um, Xander sit there and do your dirty work and stuff like that. Now Xander's looking at this. He's just looking. And I, I he has that look on his face like he feels bad for her. And I'm just sitting there thinking, Xander, you know, you're um you're somewhat of an interesting character. I mean you say some really terrible things and you've done some really terrible things. You have a conscience and it comes and goes and it, it's just like I feel like I can pretty much flip a coin. And be like, is he going to do the right thing or is he going to do the wrong thing? I mean, he stopped Sarah's mother from committing blah, blah, blah. And I know he did it because it was the right thing to do. I'm going to assume or hope. But I'm also sitting there thinking, did he stop Maggie from offing herself because he wanted to do it for Sarah? Or did he want to do it because it's the right thing? His time of honesty is very, you know, his time of doing something good is very questionable. But, you know, he looks at the situation and I guess he felt bad for Gwen. He's like, no. She didn't have anything to do with it. She was helping me. So now he takes all the blame. I'm just like, Xander, you... Bro, you... You, you puzzle me. I mean, I like that, but you puzzle me. I know that, you know, I'm like, you had no problem sitting there blowing up a marriage. And I get you did it because you didn't like, um, Eric. And I guess you didn't really care that much about Nicole. But, you know, what you did was pretty messed up. Like, it was. It was messed up. And I get that it was going to come out anyway. And so he was like, you know what, let me just get the bag. If, you know... If it's going to come out anyway, I'm out to sit to be the one to take the money. But his his times of, of being a decent person is, like, I was surprised when he did that. I mean, I looked at his face, and you can already tell, like, he was going to say something. I thought he was going to just sit there and be like, Gwen, why don't you just tell the truth? Get yourself out of it. Tell the damn truth. This way, he can back her up and be like, yo, this dude was literally sitting there strong on her. That would have made more sense. This guy decided, nope, I'm just going to sit there and take the bullet for her. Really? <laughs> I mean, I, I hate to sit there and say this, but I feel like I'm part of the town whenever, you know, Dander decides to do something good. I'm just like, man, seriously? I got to kind of wonder, was Steve really, like, <laughs> I mean, was he really needed in this episode? I feel like Jack could have got that stuff over the phone. With him, 
But, um... I don't know. I guess, you know, the scene and Jack being like, you know, listen, before you turn this over to the cops, let me sit there and talk to her. Give me some time. But, again, I felt like you could have did that over the phone. Like, listen, as much as I love Steve and, you know, that's my guy, I'm just like, you kind of weren't really needed in this episode. But, you know, contracts or whatever. So, I guess you did a half a day. Like, literally. Because we did not see you for the entire, like, for the rest of the episode. But, whatever. I think that's about it. <laughs> it's interesting. Days have been on fire. And this episode was also pretty good. Um, this episode was also pretty good. Days have been really good lately. Yeah. Days have been actually pretty good lately. I, I gotta sit there and say, like, GH is... <sighs> I don't know if you watch any of my GH reviews, GH has been disappointing me. Um, which sucks, because... Start watching that in 2001, and um, yeah, I know they're gonna come back around eventually, hopefully. But um, I'm glad to the people that did suggest me to watch Days because at first I wasn't too sure, I didn't really know the characters, I didn't even really know the names. If you watch some of my early reviews, I was like, uh, Chad, I think that's his name. Now I can sit there and just know them off by seeing them, but... Anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna go. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Um, be safe, stay safe. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And um, thank you for watching because it came out late. And it also came out late because I had um, a friend's birthday was... well. His birthday is tomorrow, but we want to celebrate it today, and so, yeah, um, that's the reason why it's coming out so late. But thank you for watching, be safe, I will see you in the next video.